We're joined by Katie Fallow, senior counsel at the Knight First Amendment Institute at Columbia University. She's tried multiple free speech cases. Katie, thanks so much for joining us. So right off the bat, $787.5 million settlement. Just how unprecedented is that? Yeah, you know, as uh, Aaron said, it is uh, the largest defamation settlement amount that I've heard of uh, by a factor of several fold. Um, it's about half of what Fox sought in this case. I mean, excuse me, but Dominion sought in this case. And I think it's, you know, I mean, people can argue about what it represents in terms of Fox's own profits, but it certainly seems to me that it would serve as a deterrent um, to Fox broadcasting the kind of statements that Dominion alleged were false and that the court in this case found to be false. And I think this case was very unique um, or it, in unusual in uh, that Dominion was able to gather a lot of evidence, which you've already described, showing that many of Fox's anchors and producers and executives knew that many of the statements that they were broadcasting were false, but they broadcast them anyway. Is there a presumption of guilt that comes along with today's settlement? Well, certainly, you know, having been a lawyer, any lawyer will tell you when you do a settlement, you're not going to admit to guilt. And, you know, Fox did say that it um, acknowledged that the judge had found that many of its statements that it broadcast were false. So, you know, that's a pretty... Um, a uh, lawyered statement. Um, presumably, Fox doesn't want to come out and make a more explicit apology or on-air retraction. Uh, and that could be in part because, um, first of all, of its concerns about its audience, but also it is also being sued by another uh, voting software company, Smartmatic, that is seeking even more money uh, in a defamation claim. So, um, I think that they are, you know, not being explicitly apologizing, but this is a significant amount. Dominion's lawyers ended their press conference tonight by saying, see you at the next one. Let's talk about those next ones. Sidney Powell, Rudy Giuliani, Newsmax are all also being sued by Dominion for defamation. How much does today's settlement impact those cases? Yeah, well, I think it sends a signal that Dominion has marshaled a lot of evidence and, and has a court ruling that a lot of the statements that were published on Fox are false. And so that isn't necessarily binding in a separate lawsuit, but it certainly creates an atmosphere. You know, I mean, to some extent, they're going to presumably seek uh, the same kind of discovery materials separately from those other um uh, Giuliani and Powell and others. And if they are able to prove that when those individuals made their statements, they actually knew that the statements were false at the time or that they entertained serious doubts about that, the whether they were true or false, then they would have an equally strong claim. I mean, this is all set by this standard established by the Supreme Court in New York Times versus Sullivan. And it's an important standard. And I think in general, uh, news outlets, and individuals should be able to talk about and criticize public officials or powerful corporations without fear of crippling lawsuits. And the Supreme Court established this very strong evidentiary standard in New York Times versus Sullivan that if you're suing on those kinds of statements, you need to prove actual malice, which isn't maliciousness. It's actually knowing that the statements were false, but saying them anyway. So I guess it's going to be a little interesting to see with people like uh, Giuliani and Powell, um, whether they can show evidence that they also didn't believe it when they were making these statements. Katie Fallow from the Knight First Amendment Institute at Columbia University. We thank you so much for your insight tonight. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.